All right, Shalom. Well. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bahakodash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, the title of this video is going to be uh, Don't Underestimate the Angels of the Lord. Okay, and i um, just going to get a couple precepts, okay, showing you and, and proving to you the, 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 uh, the seriousness, all right, of the angels because. Whenever the angels appeared, man, it was it was for a very important reason, okay. And the angels they do what the Lord sends them. They they come in the name of the Lord, okay. So the angels are 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 are, are nothing to be played with, man. All right, they're not little babies with naked babies flying around with wings and bows and arrows shooting freaking uh, uh, love darts at people. No, all right, that's not what they are at all, okay. So I'm gonna get a couple uh, precepts on this. You know, I'm doing this video on this channel because uh, my my main channel got a strike, so I can't upload for about two weeks. You know, so I'm just doing a video on this channel. But um, this is Judges chapter six, verse twenty-two. It says, see, "I'm just get, I'm just hit the points real quick." So it says, "When Gideon perceived that he was an angel of the Lord, all right, because if you if you read ahead, all right, whoever it was it was that Gideon saw or he realized." That, oh, that's an angel that he was, you know, he was with. And it says, Gideon said, Alas, O Lord, power, for because I have seen an angel of the Lord face to face. And the Lord said unto him, Peace be unto thee, fear not, thou shalt not die. Okay, because usually whenever that, <laughs> that because of the, 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 the fierceness of the angels, man, whenever they showed up, you know, whoever it was they showed up, they, they showed themselves to, was, was so afraid. All right, they were very afraid, man, and and majority of the time you read, they, it says they they had their head to the ground. All right, they bowed down because they were they were afraid. All right. Okay, so it says here, "Thou shalt not die." Why did Gideon think he was gonna die? Because he because it says what he saw an uh, angel of the Lord face to face. That's not that's not a that's not a a a a, a, a easy thing, man. All right, it, well, man, you know you got a lot of, a lot of people. Oh yeah, you know. Uh, I want to see angels, this, that, and the third, man. Look, man, when you you see a real angel, all right, even on the right hand side, you gonna you gonna you gonna be like, yo, psh, that's crazy, man. All right, the angels are not they're not a joke, man. All right, see the Most High, like the scriptures say. All right, um, let me get it real quick. Yeah, Exodus fifteen verse three. Yahweh, all right, the Lord is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. Okay, so he's a man of war. So, so basically, if he's a man of war, like the scriptures say, he's, uh, uh, the the Lord of hosts. Okay, what do you think his hosts are gonna be like? They're gonna be warlike. All right, his hosts ain't gonna be no no wimpy uh, 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 frail dudes. No, like like a, a man of war surrounds himself with 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 warlike hosts. All right. <clears throat> That's why the Lord's angels are like that. All right, this is um, I get this another account. It says Judges Judges chapter thirteen verse nineteen. Now Manoah, all right, as as I read real quick, was the father of uh of of uh Samson, all right, in the book of Judges, who had you know this superhuman strength, all right, which really was was of the spirit of the Lord, okay. But no, Manoah was his father. Okay, and this is this is when he when an angel came to him, all right, to let him know, you know, about about his son and everything. So it says, so uh, verse nineteen, so Manoah took a kid with a meat offering, all right. A kid is like a a, a baby, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is a baby uh, a baby goat, all right. So it says, um, with a meat offering and offered it upon a rock unto the Lord. And the angel did wondrously, and Manoah and his wife looked on, for it came to pass when the flame went up toward heaven from the, uh, from off the altar that the angel of Yahweh ascended in the flame of the altar. All right, so you just imagine that you know what I mean the flame goes up and he just, poof went up in it and just, just disappeared, and Manoah and his wife looked on it and fell on, uh, fell on their faces to the ground. But the angel did. But the angel of the Lord did did no more appear to Manoah and to his wife. Then Manoah knew he was an angel of the Lord. Okay, because when they saw it, they, they were basically uh, scared. 
you know that's not an everyday sight that's not something you see every day you know uh, a man just just up and disappear with with a fire you don't see that every day all right and so of course they were scared that's why it says they they fell on their faces to the ground but the angel of the lord did appear no more to manoah and his wife then manoah knew that he was an angel of the lord it says and manoah said unto his wife his wife we shall surely die because we have seen god okay so just imagine the fear he was in after that encounter with the angel all right um and then it goes on you know his wife his wife you know uh goes on and, and says some stuff but that's the main point right there man okay because these angels when they come all right when the lord comes back ultimately all right his second coming and he brings the angels they come in for war like you read in revelation uh, uh i believe is let me see pull it up real quick actually Matter of fact, I'll just I'll get a quick precept on that. Um, look at Daniel, the 12th chapter, the first verse. It says, and at that time, all right, what time is that talking about? That's talking about when the hour shall returns. And at, and at that time shall Michael stand up. All right, Michael Michael is uh, 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 the top angel underneath the hour shall, the archangel. All right. Uh, which in the Hebrew is Micah Allah, all right, which is which means who is who is like the power, okay. So it says, um, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time, and at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book, all right. So it says he's gonna stand up, all right, uh, uh for thy people, all right. Because, like it says here in the book of Revelation, there's going to be a war in heaven, all right? And it's going to be between uh, the Lord and the angels and Esau, all right, and, 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 his, and his angels, all right? Um, war in heaven. Revelation 12 chapter, yeah. All right, and, and this wasn't, this war in heaven, all right, it's not, it's not talking about a uh, 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 spiritual demon Satan versus the, no, no, no. All right, this heaven is, is talking about the 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 the, the uh, when the Lord and his and the angels come back and they have a war. All right, why do you think Esau's setting up all these uh, uh, militarized weapons in space to try and fight against the Lord? Okay, and it says, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought against his angels. All right, and this dragon isn't talking about uh, um. Um, this isn't talking about a physical actual dragon, okay? This really represents uh, 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 Esau and this this beast society, okay? Because, like Ronald Reagan said, if I if I'm, I believe it was Ronald Reagan, he said um, that if if there was a common enemy or a common threat, all right, from an outside world or whatever, basically implying of an alien alien invasion then wouldn't the world come together, all right, stop fighting against each other and come together to fight against against uh, uh, that threat, okay? And that's that's basically them coming together to try and fight against the Lord, all right, with their, milita their military. And you can read on that in, in uh, Second Ezra, I believe, the thir uh, 13th chapter, all right? It says, and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven, okay? Because guess what, man? The Lord is coming with his angels and they're coming to fight. They're coming for they're coming for war. Alright, so they're gonna get busy, man. They're gonna get busy. Alright, the angels ain't no joke. So I get this 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 the main the main the main one. Alright, this is second Maccabees chapter three, verse thirteen. Alright, it says I'm just gonna get to the point. It says, But Heliodorus, because of the king's commandment given him, said that in any wise it must be brought into the king's treasury because Heliodorus was sent by the king, all right, um, after 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 having notice of, of uh, the, the treasures, all right, in uh, uh, with the nation of Israel, all right, in their treasury, what? He he um he basically said, you know what, nah, I gotta go secure that and bring it to the king, you know, so we can hold on to that. All right, and and hey man, the, they prayed to the Lord and we're gonna read what happened. So it says, so that, so at that day which he appointed, he entered in to order this matter. Wherefore there was no small agony throughout the whole city, but the priests, uh, prostrating themselves before the altar in their priests of uh, 
vestments called unto heaven upon him that made a law concerning things given to he uh, things given to he kept that they should safely be preserved for such for such as had committed them to be kept all right basically the most high then whoso had looked then whoso had looked the high priest in the face it would have it would have wounded his heart for his countenance and the changing of his color declared the inward agony of his mind all right because um hey man it was a it was a very uh a uh, 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 dreadful time for them because you know i mean that that money all right was really to take care of the poor all right the widows and and those who didn't have much it was to take care of them all right so it says for the man was so compassed with fear and horrible of the body that it was manifest to them that looked upon him what sorrow he had now in his heart mm. It says, um, others ran flocking out of their houses to the general supplication because the because the place was like to come unto contempt. And the woman, girt with sackcloth under her breast, abounded in, in the streets. And the virgins that were kept in ran, some to the gates, some to the walls, and others looked out of the windows. Hey, because this was a big thing, man. All right. Heliodorus, he came there, you know, because at the time, I believe the king was King Antiochus. All right. So Heliodorus, he came there with with the, the whole army and all that, you know. What I mean, coming to 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 uh, um, get the, the 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 gold and all that stuff. Okay, so it says, and all holding their hands toward heaven made supplication. So they prayed unto the Lord, all right, and begged the Lord to 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 do something. Then then it would have pitied a man to see the falling down of the multitude of all sorts and the fear of the high priest being in such ag such an agony. So it was a sad, it was a sad thing, man. That if you had seen it, man, you would you probably shed tears. But like, damn. Uh, they then called upon the Almighty Lord to keep the things committed of trust safe and sure for those that had committed them. Nevertheless, Heliodorus executed that which was decreed. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't care at all, man. Um, now, as he was there present himself with his guard about the treasury, the Lord of Spirits, all right, the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Shai. And the prince of all power caused a great apparition, so that all that presumed to come in with him were astonished at the power of the Most High, and fainted and were sore afraid. Okay, so all of Heliodorus men, they saw that, and <laughs> they basically like, man, for fear, they passed out. All right, they, <laughs> it says, uh, for there appeared unto them a horse with a terrible rider upon him, and adorned with a very fair covering. And he ran fiercely and smote at Heliodorus with his forefeet. And it seemed that he had sat upon the horse and that he that sat upon the horse had complete harness of gold. So this was an angel. All right. That man, the Lord, the Lord had come down. And, you know, basically to, to them, he just manifested out of nowhere. You know, you know, you can imagine that it says a fierce. He, he ran fiercely, man, a terrible rider. So he was he was scary, man. That's a scary thing. You see a you see a, a angel pop up out of nowhere on a on a horse. <laughs> uh, man, that's 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 and, and, and top of that, man, T people think that when, when angels show up, they just show up just to just to talk, blah blah. So hey man, the Lord sends angels to do more than talk. Alright, and we're finding that out here, which Heliodorus, he found that out the hard way. Alright. It says, Moreover, two other young men appeared before him. So it wasn't just one, no, 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 no. It was, it was, it was three. All right, notable in strength, excellent in beauty, and calmly in apparel. All right, so you can tell, man, they, they, they were about to get busy on this guy. It says who stood by him on, <laughs> on either side. All right, you like basically like if you about to get jumped and they surround you, you know, you run to the left, they there, you run to the right, they there. Man, it says and scorched him continually, and gave him many sore stripes. So it was it was it was truly a divine beatdown. All right. And man, man, oh man, I nobody would want to be in that position. All right. It says many. They give him many sword stripes because they, they whooped his ass, man. And Heliodorus fell suddenly onto the ground and was compassed with great darkness. But they that were with him took him up and put him into a litter. <laughs> Cause he could he couldn't even get up. Thus him 
that Lely came with a great train and with all his guard into the, into the said treasury they carried out, being unable to help himself with his weapons, and manifestly they acknowledged the power of the Most High. For, for he by the hand of the Most High was cast down and lay speechless without all hope of life. Okay, without all hope of life, man, and that's the that's the fear, man. The, look, that's that's what the angels of the Lord did, man. All right, the Lord sent His angels and they got busy. So don't 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 for a second think, man, that the Lord's angels are just you know what I mean they just there, man. All right, <laughs> they 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 man. They come in the spirit of the of the Lord, man. Like like we read earlier, the Lord is a man of war. Okay, but hey, this is, you know you can keep reading this on your own time, but this is just a, a quick account. Okay. Of, of of the angels, man. You know, it's don't 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 ever underestimate the angels of the Lord. All right, because man, it's 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 not a good thing to be on the Lord's bad side. That's why the scriptures say, um, the scriptures say it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. All right, and the times we're coming into, man, it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be so bad out here. All right, it's gonna be scary, and if you don't have the Lord with you. Man, you you're just not gonna make it. All right. That's why it's always good to pray and maintain maintain spiritual, man. All right. Constantly do your best. Constantly push out these videos and do the works of the Lord that you may stay on the Lord's good side. All right. And then don't then you don't suffer a fate like this this man Helio Doris over here. All right. So you know that's it. Lord willing, this video is edifying unto the elect, giving all praises to you. How will by Shimmy? How will shy? Till next time, shalom.